Hi, I'm Brent Johnson, and we're still here in Madison, Wisconsin, and today I'm at St. Andrew's Episcopal Church. With me is Ken Stancer, you're the organist here, um, and we're sitting in front of a Taylor and Booty organ. It's our second one on this trip. Uh, tell me about this instrument. What, uh, what year was it built? Well, this was uh, installed in this space uh, 21 years ago uh, this summer, actually. Okay. I think July 23rd, I think, was the magic date that it arrived um, on site, and then um, was put together for uh, the rest of the summer and into the early fall. And um, do you know the opus number of this instrument? It is opus 33. 33. So it's, it's a yep. very, it's a little bit different era of the company than the one we saw yes. at St. Paul's just a little right. while ago. So um, I expect it's probably a little bit different. It certainly has a, some different appearance as I see, but um, I'm curious uh, how it sounds. Why don't we just start with the uh, the great principal course? All right. We have a, a Prestant 8, which is out here in the facade, I believe. Yep, the press on eight uh, is the front and yeah, that's actually a pretty broad sound. Uh, it's it's not as um, thin and bright as I would expect a, a press dent from Germanic builder like this, but there it's, it's right. It's quite quite warm and, and yeah. full bodied without being yeah too big. Okay. So. I mean, it is just two thousand. It's not nineteen seventy, <laughs> so they, things have right. mellowed out a little bit. So that's, that's good to hear. Let's keep building up the principal. We'll add course. the four foot octave. Okay. And the two foot. confused, I don't think we had a camera on your feet, but you have the 16-foot drawn in, with the great couple, so you've got the, yes. the, the, the bases you'd be playing with a hymn accompaniment. Right. right. And then we go up from there, we have a mixture then that goes on top of that, a three and four rank mixture. Right. certainly adds a lot more brightness to the ensemble. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's a gorgeous mixture. Yeah. Uh, and then um, what else do we have in the grate there? Still okay, so then we have um, one of each of the other families okay. of sound, one flute, one string, and one reed. Yeah, so the flute? spire flute. Gamba. That gives you some, some different accompanimental sounds there on that bottom manual. Yes, uh, those two stops are incredibly useful. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the spire flute is really uh, one of the most beautiful yeah. organ stops. Uh, <laughs> On this instrument, I, it may be the most beautiful. Uh, <laughs> well, because it's it's not very loud, but it's certainly got some clarity and and, and it sings yeah. through very nicely. And then there's a big trumpet here in the grate as well. Yes. Right? Uh, Sound. It's a very useful trumpet. Yeah. It was uh, um, intended to be both a solo uh, trumpet, mm -hmm. but it also blends really well with the ensemble. Um, if I join it with the uh, principal ensemble, and he, Full 
cool sound, but it's just right for this room too. Yes. It's not it's not overpowering it's a at all. Fabulous ensemble it's for a very controlled sort mm -hmm. of sound. Wonderful. So it blends really, really well mm -hmm. in the ensemble. And um, on its own, um, there's lots of little trumpet volunteers. That I'll, I'll often play it um, alone without anything else mm -hmm. uh, with it, and then um, bring the eight and four, the eight foot, uh, the four foot flute and the two foot octave from the choir down an octave gives you a little mini principal chorus. <laughs> way that you can accompany it. It also works just with the eight and four foot flutes, though that's a little bit lighter than, mm -hmm. than the reed is. But okay. Well, let's talk about what we have. We don't have a, a swell division. We have a choir division, right. which is right here in front of you. Mm -hmm. uh, and while it doesn't have any expression, expression shape, there's up here. doors that you can open and close right. so that you can change if you want to allow it. And I use those quite a lot. And you said there's a light that yes. um, with turns it on. The choir, of course. Um, for like when we're doing uh, psalms. Mm -hmm. So let's, shall we go through the yeah, stops first and just see what we have. Start so with that eight foot stop. Eight foot piece. stop diapason. The four foot flute on its own, let's hear that first. The other. nice and it, it, it feels really loud because it's right here above your ears right. but we know it's it's blending with the rest of the instrument out in the room yes and it's, absolutely it's just very but gentle that eight and four foot flute um, I'll usually close the doors on that for the choirs uh, singing of a chanted bird even then add the two foot with the box closed, and it's nice and bright, but it doesn't overpower the choir then. Yeah. Box open, it's a significantly different uh, sound. Have a lot of control there. Use your tricks. But this is a this is a two foot octave, so it's yes. a lot brighter than the flutes right. underneath it, so it adds that exact exactly. brightness. Right. Well, you've got a couple more stops in there. Okay, and then we have the eight foot dulzian. Well, actually, let's stick with our flutes first. We've got the two and two thirds mazard. Mm -hmm. uh, Sound. It's just a, a simple sound, but it's very clear, and it mm -hmm. cuts over those other flutes. And for trio playing, um, that works really well, too, with the uh, four-foot octave on the grate down an octave. Hmm. So that's uh, those two setting or, uh, registrations balance each other quite well with just the eight-foot in the pedal. Oh, okay. So that, um, so very useful. And then a three-rank cornet. Yes, the cornet. Piercing yeah. than just the Nazard yes. having that tears and that, that now this Nazard here is contained in okay in so we're right here, here in too so we're getting the the two and two thirds then the one and three fifths and then a, uh, I believe it's a separate two foot okay. rank uh, that is not the same as uh, the octave two in there does that run the full compass of the choir? the cornet is uh, middle C okay. uh, up two octaves All right. uh, yeah useful little so solo stop right there in the right mm -hmm. hand and then the uh, last is the eightfold dulzian, that against the flute here. So 
again, like the trumpet, it's, it works as a solo read and a chorus read. Uh, it's probably a little more effective as a chorus read when you're doing something like this. It's remarkable. It really uh, quiets it down enough that it just right. adds some it buzz. It makes to it quite top. useful. Uh, so um, we get a lot of. Uh, we can use the organ, um, you know, somewhat in an English way, yeah. uh, <laughs> accompanying the choir with some of those little tricks. Um, I was going to say that the dolzian is very similar to the last one we saw uh, mm -hmm. in St. Paul's, uh, mm -hmm. and even you can see it there in the front of the organ. The right. construction is fairly identical to the last one we saw. Yeah. Um, it, it's kind of a clarinet scale, but mm -hmm. it's uh, got that thinner buzz to it, so it's, it's a little more versatile uh, for whatever yeah. you need. It, yeah, it works in lots of the, the literature. You know, I've used it with Rheinberger trios, uh, mm -hmm. and you can use it. You know, we don't do a lot of French music on this instrument, but um, it can be used with uh, some of the Marchand uh, pieces and um, you know other French works. You just have to choose carefully. Uh, <laughs> So then we have two, we have three pedal stops, but two of them are independent. One of them is borrowed from Correct. the great. So the first is a uh, eight foot octave, which is. Very gentle principal sound. Yeah. And that, right. And so uh, I can, of course, is used as a principal when you're playing hymns, uh, but it also, it's gentle enough that it can work in flute common. You know, if you're doing uh, something on the manuals with eight and four foot flutes, you can uh, do the 16 and eight foot in the pedal and it balances oh, okay. just fine. It doesn't take over the, the, the manual. So, and the 16 flute. And then our great trumpet is borrowed down so that you have an eight-foot right. reed yep. in the pedal. Trumpet is, and it's uh, set up mechanically so that if it's on the pedal initially and you want it on the grate, you can, oh. it will pull it off <laughs> on the... It's only one or the other. So it's one or the other. However, you can get, if you want the trumpet in, a, in your plane mm. on the grate, you can still get it with the grate to pedal coupler. Just couple it down, I see. And it's very useful in hymn playing, actually. I can be playing along uh, a verse of a hymn with the trumpet on, on the grate. It's a combination action. Yeah, it's a little bit, so, yeah. Action, yeah <laughs> Manual combination. Nice. All right, nice quick change, good. Um, and then we have also swell the pedal. The um, choir to pedal, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, two couplers on the to the pedal, and then the manuals yeah. also couple yeah, to each other. Show me how that works. So, so we slide coupler or push the, the choir manual in to link them. Okay. So. And then you're getting them both on the bottom. Wonderful. Right. And then I see two uh, toe levers. Yep. The first or the closest to the middle is the tremulant, mm -hmm. and then we have a zimbelster. Natural new pneumatic symbol stirring. I hear it fire up back there. Mm -hmm. um, the tremulant, I assume, trims all, both divisions in the pedal, or at least these Right, it's for the whole organ. The whole organ. Yep. So, okay, yep. just on or off, everything trims. That's right. Mm -hmm. But it's a lovely little instrument. Uh, I'm so glad we got to see it. I'd love to hear mm -hmm. a little more of it.
this Taylor and Booty Organ is fairly easy to get into. We start with the choir division, which is accessed from the front just by opening the doors. We can get the lights on and we can see that the back panel is blocked by the roller boards for the swell, but we can get to all of the pipework. It's very densely packed in here with the uh, chrome horn in the front and the mixture right behind it. We have the eight foot stop flute in the back and then the four foot chimney flute there in front of it. And then the bottom of the stop diapason is upside down and it hangs down uh, so that you can reach the tuners from the side of the organ. Looking through that panel, we see the back of the console. And then there's a ladder, it's usually stored away that gets us up to the walkboard behind the great organ. Underneath that walkboard, we can see there are some pedal pipes uh, against the back wall, as well as some storage there. We see our pneumatic zimbal stern up there. Now we're up on the walkboard and we are looking into the grate, out through the facade. This is the seaside. tubing for facade pipes and the reed there is our wide angle view so we can see everything again everything is very compact and densely fit together and we're looking in the C sharp side same thing same layout Pipes are cone tuned or um, with a slot and uh, by pushing in the top of the pipe rather than coning it. And we have nice bright lights on the walkboard. It's very nice for technicians being able to see their way around. Here's how we get in to tune the bottom of the trumpet. case down the nave of the church. And now, here's another look at that pneumatic zimbal stern. Ken, thank you so much for showing us around this uh, Taylor and Booty from year 2000. It is 21 ranks and 16 stops. I don't know if we said that. Yeah, beginning. that's correct. Uh, and it's a wonderful little compact instrument, perfect for this room. It yes. just fills it wonderfully. Uh, and it's interesting to see another Taylor and Booty from a little different period mm -hmm. uh, than the ones we've seen and ones that we will be seeing. So uh, please make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and you've clicked the bell for notifications because we do have more videos coming up. We even still have some more videos from Madison coming out, so make sure you catch those. Uh, for now, if you want to help support the Oregon Media Foundation and help us make more videos, uh, you can go to Oregon.media and click on support. And there's a number of ways you can become a sponsor of the Oregon Media Foundation starting at just one dollar. I should also add Taylor and Booty is a member of APOBA, the Associated yes. Pipe Organ Builders of America. They help us make these videos and make sure uh, that we can get out and see these great instruments and bring them to you. So if you want to know more information about APOBA, uh, visit their website at apoba.com. For now, for streaming classical organ music 24 hours a day, as always, visit our three streaming stations, OrganLive.com, Positively Baroque, and The Organ Experience. 
hope to see you soon. I'm Brett Johnson. Bye-bye.